All right, guys. Things are going to start slowing down pretty soon, I promise. But sometimes when you get an itch, you got to scratch it. And in this particular case, seems like no better time to take care of that itch. If any of y'all saw my video on uh, <laughs> Happy Wife, Happy Life, uh, the fence is is gone. It's gone. Uh, I, I saved the pieces so I can put it back up when she's away, and that will help me a lot. Uh, one of the one of the sections I put back up a long part of the uh, part of the the waterway that's behind my house, and uh, so anyway, some of it went to good use. I hate that it happened, but it did. So anyway, here we go. This is more for the seller. Um, some of these I've not had. Let me think. Yes. So most of these I have not had before. And I am going to. Again, I just. I'm so impulsive sometimes I can't help myself. And so. I've got more orders of some of these, just of individual tins, to for me to sample just to have a sort of sort of a baseline memory profile of the blend uh, so anyway without further ado we've got McClellan Tobacco Company 40th anniversary pipe tobacco 2017 most of y'all have seen this a lot of y'all have this but I don't. So now I do. In twos. So I bought two tens of this. I'm not, it, it only comes in, um, I think, 100 gram tens, or I don't know how they do it here in the America. What's the uh, weight on here? 100 grams. So I'm not going to open these, or one of these, I'm not going to, I don't plan on open opening, and I don't really plan on getting another tin to open, so I guess I'm just going to wait and see. It's got a little blurb here on the inside, 40 years for love of Virginia's. It has been an honor and a privilege for 40 years to bring to you some of the finest Virginia's grown. We use the highest grade of leaf and strip tobaccos because of their richness and natural sweetness. We work with small batch sizes to maintain strictest quality control. Hand processing is combined when necessary with specialty design, specially designed machinery to ensure our tobaccos are free as possible of stems. Well, that's nice of them. We also take great care in, maturing pro <clears throat> in the maturing processes required as it is the aging that mellows our tobaccos and develops their rich depth of their rich depth of flavor, color, and aroma. With this tobacco, enjoy matured Virginia at its best, produced with pride and 40 years of commitment to quality. Well, thank you, McClelland. I uh, I think the only McClelland blend that I've had was the one from the other day the British Woods, and I am going to order some more of that to sell her. Uh, after I enjoyed a couple of bowls of it, just a little blurb here, it's, it's taken on, I don't know if it's their own version of Lakeland, um, but I started to get some floral notes out of it. Not, not like the Balkan mixtures, not like what I, not like the hit, the, the, the black slice scented, I think that was a Hogarth, uh, Gowith and Hogarth blend. But anyway, I think that might be something along the lines of an Americanized Lakeland. Anyway, 
I'll do a further review on it in a few weeks. But uh, anyway, up next, Dunhill Aperitif. Uh, I not had this before. I got five tens of it here, and I think that uh, I'm pretty sure I have. I haven't ordered it yet, but. I'm pretty sure I have another 10 of this in my shopping cart to send on its way whenever I finish uh, lollygagging. For someone who's so impulsive, I also am sort of a procrastinator with things too, so it's a, it's a bit of a conundrum. But anyway, there's five tens of aperitif, Dunhill. You're going to see a bit of a theme here pretty soon. Durbar. Never had this blend before. I think this is a I think this is a heavy on the if I remember heavier on the uh, oriental side of things. The the Dur Durbar, not Dunbar, Durbar. So there's another one. What else we got here. Aha. EMP early morning pipe. I've had this before several times. I've had several tens of this in my uh, in my smokings. And the last ten I had of this, I finished uh, before I started this channel, and I actually, <laughs> I actually, I might show you one day. I turned one, I turned the ten into sort of a, an acoustic speaker for my phone. So I drilled holes in it, and then I, I drilled a place to put the phone in the side. You just insert the phone. And out comes the the audio. Anyway, something I just thought of while I was finishing the tin. The next up is oh that one's I already did that one. Parity. What else do we got? Dirt bar. Okay, one more here. One more. This is uh, stuffing things loves this. You know what it is. Dunhill's Elizabethan. I've not had this. Uh, the gentleman that runs the stuffing things channel he would call this. A true vapor. So, dark Virginia tobacco with Louisiana Perique. So there's that. I've got several more boxes coming, guys. Uh, not all of it is pipe related. I've got cigars coming and some other things too that I order sometimes. Well, what I've got coming, I've never ordered before, but so I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. Comment below if you care to see. Any cigar box uh, shipments? If you do, I'll show you those. I'm not a I'm not a cigar aficionado by any means. So speaking of cigars, I want to mention uh, I saw his channel the other this this gentleman's channel a couple of days ago when I was sort of searching out some reviews of a, a couple of sticks. The name of his channel is Dang it, I. Zombie Cigar Reviews, I think. or I'll try to put a link to it below, or I'll comment after this video. Um, but his his reviews, I liked. I think he's only got a couple of videos. He's just started near about the same times that I did with the Pipe Channel here. But I like the way he set out his review. I think, he, I think he's a little more... Uh, descriptive with his, with his flavor profile that than I am or than I have been with the first tastes but he sort of breaks down the video in a, in a three or four part segment sort of like Cigar Obsession does that's another good channel if you like cigar reviews but um, he's sort of a no-nonsense kind of guy doesn't doesn't give off this uh, hoity-toity you guys love Triscuits these are some of my favorites doesn't come off as sort of you know hoity-toity and just a uh, regular guy giving uh, his his opinion on on cigars now that he's gotten into it so uh, look, look him up I'm pretty sure it's uh, zombie cigar review or zombie cigar and uh, I'll anyway I'll put a I'll comment below if, because the way I'm doing this this is gonna post right away so I'll comment after the video posts. I'll, I'll look his channel up. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This has been a sort of a long box opening, package opening. But uh, anyway, have a